Hello and welcome to another campaign on Total War Rome Remastered. So obviously we started the Parfia campaign uh, about a week or so ago. It's been going quite well. That's still going to continue, don't worry. But I wanted to play as another faction as well. I wanted to have a second campaign alongside the first. So I've decided to go ahead and just do that. We're going to be playing as the House of Brudii. Now, when I talked initially in my Parfia uh, episode 1, I talked about how... I had considered certain factions to play as, and one of them was the Julii. So, I kind of wanted to play as them still, to be honest. I wanted to play as Rome's poster boy, and that is the Julii. But I also know that the Julii haven't got the most exciting campaign fighting mostly barbarians for the longest time. I mean, you can, of course, just go elsewhere, but that's kind of what the game wants you to do. So I figured we can still play a Roman faction, but have a different campaign, and the Brutii going into Greece for the most part, I feel like that should be a little bit more interesting, so that's how I came to that conclusion. Um, having said that, of course, I am currently, uh, I say this all the time when I play a new game or something, I'm planning on doing many more campaigns, because I'm actually really enjoying this. I usually don't actually end up going through with that, I promise, but hey, for the moment, the idea is that I play a bunch more campaigns. Um, so yeah, for now, the, for now the Parfia campaign and the Brudia campaign alongside each other. Um, before we jump in, I... Well, quickly, these are the settings, of course. Still playing very hard, very hard. Uh, all that stuff the way it is. With the uh, modifiers, I'm going to keep everything on remastered for the moment. Now, I have had some concerns from people saying the population cost balancing kind of ruins the experience. Um, I feel like it's too, it's too early to say, especially for people just watching. I feel like we need a little bit more experience with the game to make that decision. I think eventually there probably will be a standard for this. Like, I, I reckon all YouTubers will probably eventually either use Classic or Remastered, depending on what is just considered better. Um, but for the moment, I will just keep them all on Remastered and then we'll just kind of see. I haven't played enough yet to make a proper decision on whether I like the population cost rebalancing or not. I kind of feel like Classic makes things a little bit more... In like. It feels like it has a, a bigger impact than it does when you use the remastered one because the unit size being normal i feel like they i wish they made it a bit larger but you know that's the way it is uh, as for settings i also want to quickly show i am still playing with the campaign map vibrancy set to 100 percent i just like the way it looks i'm also using the unit realistic color scheme for the units because i yeah just like realistic more uh and of course i'm still using the ultra unit scale instead of extreme obviously when you if you guys have watched any of my parfia campaign um even if you haven't um you will have seen that well if you haven't you wouldn't have seen it but <laughs> anyway that uh, especially in towns the path uh, pathfinding is an absolute is absolutely atrocious uh there are some actual bugs of that that they're working out fixing though for example one of the issues i kept having is that if i ran away from an enemy my unit would first go towards the enemy and then run away that's an actual known issue that is going to be fixed at some point um and also there are some other things. Basically, they're, they're aware of some issues that will be fixed. But even then, on extreme, it would be an absolute nightmare putting units in city streets and stuff. So I'm definitely not going to be playing as that. I don't think many YouTubers actually are anyway. I've also still got my old GTI, uh, GTX 1070 because my new one is in the shop. Um, so, with that said, let's jump into the campaign. Weirdly, I'm going to change my audio settings <laughs> a little bit higher. Sorry probably difficult to hear me now but otherwise the cutscene that I'm now allowed to show you is really quiet so let's go we Brutii are the only true Romans we saved Rome we drove out the kings we made the Republic the family deserve respect for that respect and obedience We know what is best for Rome. New lands, living space, territory, slaves. I know what must be done. The Greeks, they will down their perfume noses at all Romans, and they hate us. I'm going to give them a reason for hate. When I've crushed them, Roman steel, that's the answer. Roman steel in a booty eye fist. And the other great Roman families. The Scipii. Trash. They have no respect for proper Roman ways. For us, the Julii prostitute themselves as if the people mattered. Bah. We Brutii must 
lead role. Well, there you go. When we uh, get back into the game, I'll lower the audio again. But yeah, it's incredibly quiet for some reason. Compared to all other audio, so I have to actually boost it up. We are now allowed to show the cutscenes. I think some of them aren't completely finished yet, but that one, I believe, as far as I can tell, is. So we are allowed to show it. Right, so. The Brutii. Um, so as far as I can tell, like also from the cutscene, uh, is that the Brutii are kind of like... They live by the old traditions, and they're they're like big fans of the Senate, and they don't care about the people, the plebs. Um, also, the fact that they apparently seem to quite enjoy having slaves around. Um, so yeah, I think I might. I mean, I don't know if I have much of a choice in that really, but I think I might try and play like that a little bit too, just like be just like <laughs> really just just snorting my nose at anyone basically. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's sorry. I'm looking for the yeah the. Um, I'm not used to having the Senate thing menu. That's what I was kind of looking at, right? So here's the Senate. So we are currently the same as the other two Roman families uh, in terms of how the Senate sees us, but according, or like with the people anyway, uh, we are lower because we just don't. We, the, ple the plebeians hate me. Oh, fair enough. I hate them too. Um, I believe this might actually be dependent on which faction you're playing. This might be different because I feel like I actually was playing as the Julii a little bit off camera, and uh, one of the, I think, Scipii. The Scipia faction leader or something was uh, actually the Quaestor. But anyway, doesn't matter. We'll get there soon enough. We'll be Pontifus Maximus before you know it. Now, um, as always, I want to have, you know, the first episode is always going to be a little bit slower. I'm going to look around stuff. I want to have a look at all my my um, my characters, just my towns, etc. We're not going to rush things too much. So, starting with our faction leader. There he is. It's Croton. No, it's a Tiberius Brutus. I do that every time. Tiberius Brutus, lovely name, is a relatively good commander, has pretty decent influence, and one management as well. So he's a faction leader. I'm going to go through these things again. Uh, I just, you know, it's just useful to have all this information and just be aware of it. So we got influence command, personal security from being a faction leader. As always, we got some command from confident commander and command talent. Also come out when attacking. Politician influence, we get uh, improved the chance of being elected by senatorial officers and a po bonus to popularity with the Senate. We are sharp, influence, command, and management. That's always a good one. And we have Night Fighter, that's because we have command level four. We also have the Drill Master Follower, which gives us uh, movement points increase, so we can basically force march. And also 10% discount on unit training costs, but that's only if you're in a town, I assume, where you are training units. Uh, right, so that's our faction leader. Our faction heir, I think it's this guy, yes it is. He is not very good. He's very influential, but he's not particularly amazing. So he's our heir, plus one influence to personal security. We have a plus one command from Confident Commander. He's a politician, so the same trait as we saw just then. He's a tub thumper. When he aroused to action by his words, even if his speeches are coarse and unpolished to some ears. So he has bonus popularity with the people. Interesting. You don't belong in this faction, all as Brutus. Uh, and we have plus two management, plus two to law from skilled bureaucrat. And now we have a quartermaster with him, which gives us movement points as well. And also bonus to cash from uh, gain from looting. So he's not amazing. I mean, he seems to be more of a manager at the moment. But I mean, I guess, yeah, we can always give this to someone else, I suppose. That's not really a thing. Um, and then he's got plus two to... Yeah, maybe he should be a manager, but we'll see. We'll see what our other characters have. This guy seems to be quite a good general, judging from his five command right now. Confident commander, natural born leader, politic political animal is uh, actually just that same trait as earlier, but slightly worse. So it's just a yeah a lower version of that, uh, lower tier. He's intelligent, plus two influence, plus two command, plus two management. That's where all that stuff comes from. And then he's got knife fighter because again he's at five command. So yeah, this guy is going to be one of our main generals for sure. With five command, uh, turn one, that's pretty good. Uh, and then we have uh, our governor here. Usually when I see a guy who's bold, I, just, I immediately assume he's not going to be very good at command. This guy's okay, but he's much better at management. So he's got plus one command, plus two management, plus two to law. So skilled bureaucrat again. Political animal, we saw that. Intelligence, also influence command management. And a mathematics expert, plus two management, 10% bonus on all trade income. This guy is an insanely good manager. So I think we're just definitely going to keep him back in one of our towns. Our capital being... Uh, Tarentum, yeah, it's this little read, I guess, we're looking for. Uh, so yeah, 4,500 out of 6,000, 4,300 out of 6,000 here. Okay, so yeah, he's in the right town. I think he's just going to stay exactly where he is right now. Speaking of this town, let's reduce the tax rate in both our towns right away to increase our population growth. Our income is going to be meh. 
We're losing. Oh, we're losing 420. Don't change a thing, is what I'd say. Um, right, so yeah, we have looked at our characters. I guess we can have a quick quick peek at these guys. We've got a diplomatic diplomat. I should hope so. And a expert spy as our spy. I think those are actually... They might be identical for every faction. They always start with like a four-level um, spy and a three-level diplomat. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Cool. Uh, as for our units, we've got some Astati Vilates in there. Astati Vilates in there. Astati Vilates in there. And Astati Vilates in there, but also some Equites. So we got some Calf to start off with, which is nice. We also have a fleet of free ships, which is useful because, of course, we can't really expand anywhere if we don't have ships. Because Greece is definitely the most likely place we're going to go for, especially because our mission um, is to take Apollonia, which I think we can do on turn one if we play our card right. So we can take Apollonia, which has a unit of militia hoplites and two peltas. That's a, that's a much better garrison than uh, what's in here. When I recently played this, that's peasant in like a warband or something. To be fair, Greece is going to be much dif more difficult to conquer anyway, of course, because hoplites and stuff and just phalanx abilities, that kind of thing is always going to be kind of difficult to deal with, but we'll be okay. Uh, anyway, right, so I need to have a look at uh, how I'm going to play this. So I, I think there's another rebel town up here somewhere, which would definitely be a town that I would like to take as fast as possible as well. I want to make sure I grab that before someone else does anyway. Because um, it should be relatively safe too. Uh, obviously, we got this one, and I think other than that, there's there's a town like around here, which is Greek owned, I think. Then they've got Sparta down here, which also has the statue of Zeus at Olympia. Plus four bonus of population loyalty in all settlements, so that's pretty good. I, I mean, I don't know what plus four means exactly, but I'm assuming that's good. Um, then there's uh, Athens. Is that Athens? Wait, no. What's is? I think it might be Athens. There's a there's a city over here as well. Anyway. There's um, yeah, plenty of towns around here. I need to at some point. I have a map actually of this, you know, room one, but it's the same. Which has it's just a map with like where all the settlements are, and I need to have that on my other screen so I know what I'm actually doing. But my point being, anyway, is that I want to obviously take Apollonia soon, but I also want to make sure I go towards that other town up here soon because I need to take that as soon as possible. Because afterwards, we're going to be focusing on this area. So I don't really want to have to take this, then run all the way up there, and then go all the way down here. I'd like to do this at the same time, or something. So anyway, um, right, our, le our, our uh, characters. So, uh, first of all, this guy is definitely going to be leading an army, as well as this guy. And then this guy is going to be sitting inside of a town, because he's more of a manager right now, I think. He does have the quartermaster, which I might pop on someone else instead. We can use that nice um, thing that we've got nowadays, the uh, move followers screen, which is good. Um, our spy and diplomat probably going to hop on the boat. That's the thing as well. Of course, I'm going to want to recruit some more diplomats and also consider where this one is going to go. Obviously, we've already got deals with all the Roman factions, so we don't have to talk to them. We can talk to Greece here and we can talk to Carthage here. However... Greece we're going to be at war very soon. I could put, put them on the boat as well and then talk to Greece, sell them some map info, and then just declare war on them the same turn or the turn after. Because that's what's going to happen soon anyway. I may as well get some money out of them before I do. Um, other than that, I think we need a diplomat to go up like to the worst of west to talk to uh, Spain, Gaul, Germania, Britannia, etc. And then I'll probably want to have one go south, and then the one that goes this way can start heading this way towards Scythia, and then you know Pontus, Armenia, etc. I think that's probably the game plan. So we'll need one to go this way, which is going to be our first one, and then any other ones we recruit are going to have to go that way. Sounds good. Anyway, that still doesn't tell me what the f I'm doing. So, recruitment-wise, we definitely want to have a diplomat. I can get war dogs as well. So the diplomat's going to be recruited here, since we can't recruit any other good units here. Um, I think I'm going to send a ship down this way, because I don't know if it's worth sending these guys up all the way around, or I can just pick them up right now with a ship. So we'll send one ship that way, so I can put my units on there. Our faction leader, like I said, is going to be leading an army as well. So we'll pop these units on there. And then we'll have to uh, put this guy for now in here. Oh, what I should have done. I might still be able to do it, actually. Hold on. Slight misplay, but it's okay. Right, yeah. So we're going to do this, and then... Let me check. So he's got Drill Master. That's quarter. Okay, we can, we're going to stack this shit. I don't know if that works, but let's find out. So... On my faction leader, that is him, I want this quartermaster. Confirm that. 
since they're in the same place, it'll be instant, so we get it right away. Otherwise, of course, there's a small delay attached to that. Now we take him off. And now this guy is going to have a Drill Master and a Quarter Master, so he's just got plus 40% movement. Did he not have a trait as well? Was that someone else? I think it might have been someone who had a trait with movement as well. Either way, that's pretty good. So our faction leader is going to be zipping across the map from now on. I might have to give one of those to a different army, but that's okay. Um, then, of course, there's still these two units as well. I could grab a... I, I don't know what's in here. Because I'm, what I'm thinking is I could possibly send a ship this way, pick them up with this general and maybe the cav. So that'll be four units. And then I could send them up, take the town around here, uh, while the rest of the army goes to take Apollonia. Having said that, I can't... I would, it would have to be next turn that I take Apollonia. All right, you guys are definitely going to go towards here, so let's start moving that. I guess you have to just go like that. Um, yeah, do I send him... Like, the thing is, if I, I, I can't take this town... Oh, hold on, there's also the fact that we can possibly recruit diplomats. We've got some Samnite mercenaries. Um, I've, I would like to have an ar like an actual general lead this force though, taking Apollonia. And I would like a general lead in that force as well. So I think we're just going to leave Apollonia for a turn. Hope that no one takes it. I don't think anyone will take that on turn one if we don't. I would imagine so, anyway. Uh, but yeah, Samnite mercenaries. Probably still worth actually recruiting. They're not bad. They've got the decent morale. 5 melee attack, 14 defense, 5 armor. Uh, well, I guess, uh, we don't care about that shit. It's 14 defense. That's the thing. These three stats are the most important. How is a regular Astati looking? Okay, a regular Astati is definitely better. But they're mercenaries, so we don't have to give a shit about them. I still also don't know this... Actually, not in this case yet. 750 and then 150, uh, 170 upkeep. When I'm looking at regular units, I still don't understand this. Is it, does it mean we pay 100? For, no, we, we... Yeah, I guess we do. Hold on. Yeah, we pay 100. Okay, right. I see. So these guys cost 150 to recruit. Right, and then this the 100 is the... It's weird that this... The way this is... It doesn't show you... You don't have to return. Oh, I guess it does if you fucking hover over it. Oh, wait, but that one... See, yeah, that one doesn't tell you anything. It's a bit confusing. Anyway, this is the recruitment cost. That's the upkeep cost. I don't know why they've shown it like that. They should change that. I should probably play the game at some point. Right, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I think that's actually not a bad idea. So I'm going to pop you over here. I'm going to take the general and the equites. We're going to put them on the ship. Do I send anything else with? What have we got? Uh, Stati Vilates. So we only got one infantry unit there. That's eh, okay. What do we got here? So we'll have three Astati and two Vilates. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take the Equites. We're going to go that way. Then we're going to sail over here, pick these guys up. And then we're going to sail towards wherever this town is, which I don't know where. Let me actually slow down the movement. That didn't really help. Oh, fuck. It's all the way over there. Okay, I, I thought it was way further this way. There might be another town, though. Let me have a look. If I zoom out, I should probably get some more info on the town. No, that doesn't tell me anything else. Dalmatia, right, okay, there is another town over here. So there's two towns. So, do I take cell... What's in here? There's four units in here. Oh, that's actually... That looks like some decent units as well. This could be a tough battle. I think I'm still going to go take that first. Um, and then finally, put you there. Get you on there. Get the spy on there too. Get the diplomat on there. And then I could actually start sieging them out, I guess. I don't think they'd sally out, but I mean if they did do it would be a, it would be pretty shit for me. But then I guess I could back off if they do. Yeah, alright. Um We're gonna drop you guys off here. Obviously the agents oh they're in the army, I guess. Right, so agents Diplomat man, you're gonna start heading towards Greece. Uh spy, I mean you're guys you're gonna head towards Greece as well, actually. Traveling along. And you guys are gonna besiege this town. I don't I'm not gonna attack it right away. But hopefully if they don't sally out, it'll they'll at least take some attrition, right? What is it wait, do I have extra movement now? What the Oh what the Oh what why did I have more movement all of a sudden? Is it because I got that No. What? Okay. Was I blind earlier? Did I did I <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I also forgot two units in here like an absolute idiot. I might still be okay though Um, What the hell? I'm co very confused right now. Why did I have extra movement all of a sudden? Okay I feel like I should send these guys up this way just to help out because that's actually pretty small um, I could do one-on-one -on -one. 
So, if I, well, I only have one unit of... In, yeah, I think I'll do two. I'll just send them both this way. Fuck it. I've made my decision. This actually works out okay. They should have been on that boat, but it doesn't really make, matter any uh, at all, actually, to be honest. Okay, right. So, recruiting a diplomat here. I should probably recruit a unit of something here. I wouldn't mind some more equities, because they're quite good. But I also probably just want to... Never mind. I was going to say, I should probably just get some infantry, but we don't actually have the option to recruit uh, any Astati. We have no... What the? We can't even recruit any Astati anywhere. That's kind of crazy. I need that barracks building. That's madness that I can't recruit any of this. Right, well, first of all... I say first of all, we're like 10 minutes into the video. 20 minutes into the video. Um, I need to have a look at the uh, Panfield that I'm going to go for. So we've got Juno, Mercury, and Mars. So Juno gives us... Um, we got 25, we got 50%, wait, is this for real? That's a lot of stuff. 50% public order, 25 of that is happiness, 25 is nothing. Normally it says like law or something. 20% um, trade income bonus, two bonus ex uh, experience the troops trained here, and also 2.5% growth bonus. That's madness. Where are these changed? I feel like I've watched the campaign quite recently where they didn't have any growth, uh, whatever. Um, here we have um, more trade income bonus, less, less population growth, we get 10% public order. Wait, public I feel like this is supposed to be the health thing. Right, I think that's what that is. This 25%, I think that's health. This 10% is health. I'm not sure. I feel like that might be an oversight on that they didn't have the text properly. I, I don't know. Either way, um, so we have 25% happiness, 10% happiness or health, I don't know. Uh, more trade income, population growth, 1%, and experience as well. And then we have 25%. God, why is this so confusing? Another 10% as well. 20% trade. This is just more experience and morale as well. So this is the like military one. This also allows you to recruit Arcani. Well, anyway, I like population growth. So I think that's what we're going to go for. So it's going to be whatever the first one is, Juno. All right. Let's get it done. I think we're going to build that first, despite the fact that we can't rec uh, recruit any good infantry right now. I kind of want to get this done, because it only takes one turn. It increases the growth, which is always important. I guess we can have a quick look at money that we get from other things. Oh, the roads would be insanely good. Um, so yeah, I do want to build those ASAP as well. The trader, a little bit of money. We're also going to get Vilates, and then I guess after that we get Archers. We can have a look at that in a second as well. Okay, well, we're just going to build that for now, just because it's fast. And here, we've got a mine available too, which will give us 200 income, which is pretty good. 208, in fact, because we have a governor as well. Uh, we've also got port available, 1 to 32. Can we actually recruit? Yeah, we have a port there, right? So yeah, we can recruit more ships. Okay, we've got some buy rooms we can make. That's good. Um, anyway, so yeah, the port, that's good. Money too, only takes two turns. That's definitely going to get built sooner rather than later. The roads, less money, but still okay. And then here we have nothing in terms of recruitment. This, this place is definitely further behind. Right, well, that's okay. We're still going to start with the Juno. But I think, yeah, the mines and the port are going to get built sooner rather than later. Because that's good money right there. And then since I can't recruit any good units, I think I am going to go ahead and recruit some Equites. Because Cav is always useful. And, of course, they're fast moving so they can catch up to our armies pretty quickly. I need to get a ship over there. So if I've got any movement left, which I don't, okay. Um, we can just move this one back and forth. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we're doing that. Um, I think that's about all I've got in terms of all of that. So, let's do a battle. Um, so yeah, we got Militia Hoplites and two Peltasts. Have they got any buildings here? No. Alright, so this should be a fairly straightforward battle. We've got our faction leader here as well. The We haven't got any archers though. I didn't really consider that. This is going to be kind of annoying, simply because... Oh, I should have looked at mercenaries in this place. Maybe I should have recruited the Samnite boys after all, simply because I feel like I could have used a sacrificial unit here. Because we don't have any archers, so we can't really lure them out of their town. It's going to be tough. Men think themselves our equals. I think the carrion birds will feast upon their dead before the day is done. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard! Strike without mercy! <laughs> Every time I have a speech like this, it's like he gets super excited. Strike without mercy! And an absolute silence following that. No excitement. Like in, in Shogun 2, you've got your men like cheering and stuff. But in this, it's like, yeah, alright. 
No mercy. You got it, boss. Is there anything else you want it? Anyway, so... Um, yeah, it's it's kind of awkward, because... We're either going to have to just get in there and just surround everything from all sides and just kind of hope that we don't lose a lot of men, which I don't really like relying on hope. And it won't, I won't be able to use my general much, which is of course the strongest thing because they replenish by themselves. Um, but we don't really have much choice. I feel like what I could technically do is put like a Vilate here and I might be able to shoot into, like maybe even from the back there. I might just be in range, but they've got two Vilates as well, so I would just be trading blows. So either way, whatever happens, this is going to be kind of awkward. But let us spread out the units and see what happens. There's always actually a chance, this happens sometimes in these rebel settlements, where there's always a chance that um, some of the units are, like, there's two units in here and then one unit, like, starts there for some reason. If that's the case, I gotta get my, oh, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I gotta get my general to charge them as soon as humanly possible, so that's... Well, that was the hope, but unfortunately, they're all three of them just right there. Okay, well, we're going to move up. We're going to see what we can do. There's a chance that I can throw from, like, around here. But again, they can just throw back, so I don't know how useful that would really be for us. Uh, this Vilita unit, I'm going to send around the back. And then I guess I'm just going to plug the holes. And if, you know, if I can't do anything else, I may have to just charge in from all sides and just, just bog them down, I guess. I don't know. It's going to be rough. It's not a clear, easy way. Like, if I had an archer, I could, I could just lure them out. Especially with this kind of... This is actually a fantastic place. Because you could put your archers in these, like, places. And the enemy would never be able to get to them unless they have to run around. So they'd have to get out of the town. At which point you could charge them with cavalry to do anything. That's... Man, this would... this If we had archers, this would have been insane. But unfortunately, we don't. So, there you go. No need to get excited. Over... Spoiled... What is it? Spoiled milk or something? What's the saying? Don't get excited. Whatever. I'm sure someone will let me know. Let me know in the comments. What shouldn't I get excited over? Right. Uh, they're spreading out, probably with the intention of chucking their jabs at myself. I, I mean, I can't reach them yet. I honestly don't think there's much I can do. The only, the only question I've got is, can these guys reach? But again, even if I can... They can reach me too, so there really is no real point in doing this. If I could hit the... I mean, I guess that's something. If I could hit the Pelta, or the Militia Hoplites and make them come out of the town, we could surround them with the cab and just charge them. So let's get inside. Are they actually coming... Are they charging towards me right now? Hold on, let's get you guys a little bit closer to the potential action. Okay, we're chucking at them, but again, they could just stand still and chuck back, so this isn't going to do a whole lot for me. But hey, anything we kill right now is going to be helpful. I kind of want to put them there too, just like I've done with the other units, but... Also, of course, the uh, Militia Hoplites are going to be... You know what, I'm going to run back. While they're not shooting back at me, this is actually going to work out okay. I could potentially even, if they all go this way, I could just get on the point and then just try and capture it. These guys might actually be able to chuck as well if I get them into the right position. I feel like that might just be a range. As we know, of course... Um, the range doesn't really mean a whole lot, because usually you can shoot further than your actual range is. Not sure why they made it like that, but there you go. Oh, Rome, please. That'll do. You as well, get in there. This is working out better than I expected so far. I'm keep getting you guys back. I mean, there might be on the way here. Honestly, even if the field taste turn back and it's just the militia hoplites out here, I'd be okay with that. I just need to find a way to kill off the Militia Hoplites. Or, well, I mean, I need to find a way to kill off all of them. They almost look like they're going to stand still and chuck at me. I don't like to think what's going to happen if that were the case. I think I'm going to have... Yep, okay, right. Well, okay, it's time to get in here. I didn't mean to select both of them. I'm not sure, honestly not sure how I did. I need to get a unit on the point and then one unit to just get in here. And then we just trap them, I guess. I, it's got to be rough. Also, the fact that they're probably going to keep throwing even if I'm in melee with them. Okay, well, this unit going all the way over here to follow this unit is actually very helpful. We're still chucking at them. If, I, if they come all the way over here, I can actually send this unit in the back as well. In fact, I can start running them over and just chucking at them. The general could potentially get in the back of this stuff too. But I need to make sure we don't get trapped by this unit or something. Alright, I mean, Nastadi will... Oh, we fucking routed them. Hello, kill them. This is actually way better than I expected. 
Did not expect to break him that quickly. Once they get on the point, of course, they stop breaking. But I think we might just slaughter them before they even get there. And if they don't, I mean, they're going to be almost dead here. Oh, God. I didn't realize how fucking close they were. They were coming back at me. Okay, keep killing those men. And I'll, if anything, we're going to capture the point in, what is it, three minutes after this unit dies? This one guy who seems to be... <laughs> Orders completed. I see a man over here. I'd like him... There you go. So in three minutes, I'll capture the point. So, I mean... I can start... They're going to start throwing at them again as well. I can start throwing at them with these guys. Worst case scenario, they reach my line. After I chuck a bunch of jabs at them. And um, and I'll charge them in the back with cavalry. And they'll probably route. Can you guys hurry this up a little bit, though? General. Because there are still... I mean, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to get into range, actually, with these guys. There's still 137 of them. This is going to be painful if they actually get into melee. I really should get a, route, a charge off on them right now. While they're turned around. Try and... just. I mean, it, there's always a chance that you just die. I mean, worst case... In fact... Why do I even go for this? Just run away. Just don't. Don't even do this. I don't have to fight them. I mean, this might just route them, to be honest. That's wavering. Come on. If, as long as they don't get into the square before they route. I'm not, lo lo not losing a lot of men here. We're just getting a couple of kills. Not killing as much as I was hoping. They're just going to keep marching. Come on, route them before they get in there. That'd be so good. Once they get in there, oh, they're shaken now. They're no longer wavering. If they turn around... We just die. Okay, well, in that case, don't run the wrong way, though, when you run away. Just run straight back. Okay, good. Right, well, now what's going to happen is we're just going to chuck jabs at them, and then we keep running away and chucking jabs, I guess. That's okay by me. We can just stay away. In fact, I should probably just trip-speed this. I also... This is something I need to do. Put you guys on fire at will, which for some reason you weren't. That's uh, definitely something I need to keep an eye on. Make sure we don't triple speed too much. They can't route, of course, while they're in the square, a square. I don't also know if I can actually lure them out anymore at this point. I should probably start running you over there. Does that work still? Hello? That should work. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Either way, this will uh, definitely kill a lot of them. They can't route while they're in the, in the square, but man, that did a lot of damage. Get one more volley off before we run away, I guess. That's okay. They might just route from... There we go. Army losses. There you go. Cool. Right, we didn't lose anything. I lost... All oh, right, of course. We got... Fro we lost some... Start did I kill my own men? Or did they actually... I don't... Oh, no. Of course, we were in combat. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. Anyway, it's still a pretty good victory. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, I'm... Absolutely losing my mind right now. No idea what's going on. Just a seizure at the moment. Good battle, though. I'll take that. Victory, Victory indeed. You've done well. Right. Um, here's that thing about occupying or enslaving. Now, I should have looked at how big this town was before I took it. It is... It's got no walls, so it can't be that big. So in this is this uh, this is one of those situations where I simply don't know. Because I so what people have been telling me in the Parfia campaign is that when you do this and slave, sorry, um, you divide the population. I so okay. Here's what I used to think it was: is that you just get 450 slaves, and it doesn't increase the population, it just increases your income and your unhappiness. But no, it increases your population as well, and it makes the town unhappy because part of the population are slaves. Makes sense. But then what people told me is this only happens in towns that have governors, which in my Parfia campaign, I never had any governors because I had no generals inside of towns, so I don't think it would have mattered anyway. I haven't talked about this in my Parfia campaign yet, by the way. That's going up later. Um, so I honestly, I don't know. And here, this town, I think the minimum is 400, right? So this, this town is what, 950 population? Or 850 population, sorry? I think that makes sense, right? It's something along those lines. So... And I assume this is a Greek settlement, judging from the fact that they had Greek units in there. So it's not going to be Roman, which means it's not going to have my culture. But the town is so small that the culture shouldn't matter. Now, we do have two governors, so this would currently give me 225 men in each town. So there is a bonus to doing it, but I think in this case, I think I might be right not doing it, correct? I'm just doing it anyway, but... Oh, in fact, it didn't... Yeah, of course, it doesn't even have a governor's house yet, so there's no point not... There's no real point doing it, I think. 
I, I've, I, I'm sure there's, there's, there's ways to see. There's both, like you can see it both ways. Whatever the fuck I'm trying to say right now. Can't even repeat peasants, of course. Um, yeah, I think that might be. There's, there's different ways of looking at it, but I think I might have not been too incorrect by doing that. Hopefully, people screaming in the comments now. I'll tell you. All right, so we got five grand from the Senate for completing a mission. Good. Hopefully, the next mission is to take Salona because. I'm well on my way. So yeah, they've got Illyrian mercenaries and then three other unknown units. I'm a little bit scared about that one, because that's actually a decent army. But it is going to be probably a terrible town to take as well, or an easy town to take as well, because it's going to be terrible. Right, so we're building something, we're recruiting something, we're building something here. We can't recruit peasants because we haven't literally got the governor's house yet, so we've got no buildings, so... That's all good. We moved our agents, we moved our ships. I think that might be the end of the turn. The only thing I could... No, I don't think there's anything else to do. I'm just, uh... Yep, nope. Let's do it. End that turn. Alright. We've got a new Senate mission, it seems. Take Fermon. Right, that's that, that town right there. Be rewarded with a unit of Triari. Great. That's... That's funny. Actually. The reason that's funny, um, let me just uh, quickly check this stuff. Yeah, right. Okay, we're we're losing money. No, we're not hemorrhaging money anymore. Actually, we're doing all right. Although that net turn income of minus what is? That's oh yeah, I guess it's plus three hundred eighty-one. Okay, so we're making money. Good. Um, the reason that's funny is because normally you have a mission that will say you get one of the best units available to you. But we can't, we can't even recruit Hastati. That would normally be Hastati. We can't even recruit Hastati because of our terrible um, infrastructure in terms of recruitment buildings. The best unit we could possibly get, I guess, would be Equites. But yeah, that would be a bit weird. Um, so yeah, Triari sounds good. Um, I am going to go for that pronunciation, by the way. Of course, there's always the, there's, there's, there's like two schools. People say Triari or Triari. Tri and as far as I know... I think it depends on like the region as well, but as far as I know, it's like correct to say e basically, so triari, -E, not triari. -E -E. But I'm gonna be, f I'm gonna fuck up all kinds of pronunciation. So uh, anyway, Salona, we still don't know what's in there. Yeah, they actually built a governor's house, which makes the town I think slightly different in terms of how it looks. I'm going to drop you guys off there. Oh god, I thought it was bugged for a second there. Eh? Uh, and then you're going to jump in there too. And then we're just going to do hello. Right, so they've got a unit of militia hoplites, a unit of Cilician pirates, and two units of Valyrian mercenaries. It's just mercenaries. What is happening here? Okay. Uh, we'll have to fight that in a minute. I mean, I guess I could siege them out and make it a field battle. How long would it take? Three turns. Ah, that's almost worth considering. Especially the fact that we have two units of cab. Like, this will be a tough battle to take. I feel like these guys, I can't oh, I can't see their stats. Yeah, 11 melee attack. That's And 14 missile attack. They've got an insane throwing weapon as well. What the fuck are we now? I guess they're throwing harpoons or some shit. Um, right, am I attacking Greece this turn? Because if I'm attacking Greece this turn, I should talk to them this turn. Otherwise, I talk to this Macedonian fellow right here. Because he's just hanging out. Um... I need to get you guys over, right? So let's take our one ship, pop you back here, bring over the cavalry. Oh, actually, I should have. This is not something I considered. Uh, we might still be okay. Yeah, I was gonna say if I actually if I'm gonna attack, ooh, that'd be a great Cretan archers. Oh, can I recruit those as well, please? Uh, anyway, what I was gonna say, if I was gonna if I am gonna attack Furmon, I should have considered moving um not moving my ship back there to pick up a unit because that might have actually cost me the movement that i needed but i don't know i am also i think i'm going to send one ship up the coast to find that other town which i didn't do i don't know where it is so i have no idea it honestly it might have been taken by gold at this point i guess i could see by the border colors did i i think i may have seen someone on his way there either way have a ship check it out before I send any units over, I guess. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we can send this ship here, pick up a load of units, and then see if I can still reach Furmon with that. Now, I have to keep a unit behind to keep this town happy as well, which kind of sucks, because I can't do... Sh I mean, I could, I could recruit a peasant unit, 
and then hope there's no armies anywhere. I also need to go into Furmon and have it. I mean, I'd, start, I'd have to siege them out, I guess. But these um, archers, they wouldn't really be a problem for me to take out if they were to come and reinforce or something. Right, he's in there. So we now have a 40% chance of actually succeeding to attack the town right away. But I'm not sure if I want to. They've got four units of Peltasts, a Militia Hoplite, and Antigonos of Sparta. A general. That's a pretty that's a pretty sizable army, comparing it to ours. I'm not sure I like our odds, especially in a town battle. If I have to siege them out, I'll be okay with that, I think. And we have to keep a unit behind too. Um, which is going to have to be a Vilate or a Stati. I think that Stati is more useful. I mean, I'll pro I mean, I'm recruiting a peasant, so I guess I could take everyone out and just accept it. I also totally forgot to reduce the uh, population growth or the tax rate to low here last turn. So that's my bad. Um, right. Yeah, okay. Let's just grab the whole army and assume this place is going to be okay. I might be unhappy for it. No, it's not even unhappy. Unless there's a... I mean, someone might run in. I guess the problem is this unit could, could come and run in. But I could possibly... Drop off our cav and just have the cav kill this unit. I mean, they probably will be able to do that. Well, I guess they could get... They would get shot a little bit as well. Hmm. If, yeah, if I declare war on them and this unit just walks into my town, that would be real stupid. So I need to find a way to make them come over here. I guess what I could do is sail over here. This is such a fucking puzzle right now. Attack him with just the general. Kill him. And then go over there and attack. Because I feel like I still have to move it with him. Which means this army on the ship could probably reach that and attack as well. So we're going to take you. Declare war. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should probably talk to him this turn anyway. Yeah, no, this makes sense. I should not talk to them yet. I should talk to them. Sell them shit and then... <laughs> Declare war on them, if I can. So hey, how about some trade... No, trade rights would be useless. Well, I get it might still... I might just sell it for something. Um, right, then I will take from you... I think we don't want anything else, so I'll take from you a bunch of money. What do you say to that? I'll t uh, no, I don't want money over time. That'll be dumb. I want a single payment of... Uh, would you do two grand? Demanding. No, you definitely wouldn't. How about 1,200? That's balanced. 880, okay, I should be able to get up to maybe 1,100. 1,100 of your finest denarii, please. 940, all right, 1,000, a final offer. They're gonna be like, no, actually, sorry. All right, 1,000 buck arenas. We accept your offer, right, time for war. <laughs> <laughs> this just feels so dumb. Um, this guy, need, I want to talk to the Macedonian, but I think... I mean, there's no one else to talk to around here, so I think we're just going to start heading up north. And there should be some Macedonian towns around there somewhere. So, General Man. Uh, consider the declaration of war. Oh, yeah, I should also say, I, I mean, we are allowed to, but the, fact, the Senate will actually have, like, policies, so... Uh, against the Greeks, however, they say, after due deliberation, decide these people are not to be considered friends of Rome. Their claims to territory, freedom, and independence should be disputed at every conceivable opportunity. So yeah, we're allowed to declare war on them, basically, is what that's trying to say. So, El General, let's go. Right, they're staying there, not running away. Let's make it a night battle for no real reason. 161 Cretan archers, they have... they are really good. They have insane range. I think they're 170 range. So basic archers, as far as I can tell, well, slingers are like 80, then archers are 120, and the better archers are 170. I think those are like the three main... I guess there's also peltas, the but throwing weapons. They call themselves men, apparently. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> uh, that's the speech. They call themselves men, apparently. I, I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna dispute it. That's what they do. Do I, um, that's not. Do I go into loose formation? What's loose formation? What the fuck is loose formation? Is there no loose formation? Oh, wait, this one. No. That's, what the f What is this? Select or deselect all units. Oh, right. I haven't actually looked at this stuff yet. Surely there's loose formation. I guess not. Alright. Fucking go! <laughs> I feel like I started in range, but that's probably okay. Oh, they're moving towards me, too. 
feel like they don't... Okay, maybe that's the range. I guess it could be. We're definitely going to take a full volley here, and it's going to be painful, but... Unless they run away because we're close. That was not a full volley. Okay, well, they will probably route after getting tapped in the back. Although they are running away, which is a bit annoying. Honestly, I don't know why I'm not triple speeding this. There's literally no tactics here. There we go. Yeah. Alright, continue until we kill 85% of them. Or maybe probably just wipe them out, to be honest. Make sure. 3%, 2%. Oh, three guys. I don't know what the f How the fuck are they running? Hello? Whoa! Did you see that guy? <laughs> Did you see that guy? What the fuck? Alright, we lost three men total. Healed one. That guy was fucking... There was Usain Bolt over there. Holy crap. <laughs> Cavalry, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm running. He almost made it too. Victory, victory. alright, well. A, a quick victory over the... Uh, over the Greeks, that's good. Now, I can't really get any further, so what I think I'm gonna do... God, this could be real risky, actually, if I don't know, if I... If I oh, I can see already, I can't actually reach. I didn't realize that was gonna be that way. Uh, what if I selected only you? Would that... Oh, that doesn't... Because I'd have to move over here first. Okay. So maybe I don't attack firm on this turn, which means I could recruit some stuff in there, I guess. Which would not be good. That would not be good. Um, but either way, I think this is the location that we want to end up in. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. You might want to head back on the boat, <laughs> as it turns out. I didn't realize I couldn't actually... Okay. Alright. This oh, That's okay, as long as they haven't got a fucking fleet just over here, and we lose our entire army, in which case this campaign just sort of ends right now. Um... Okay, I honestly, three turns of sieging is not appealing to me, but I'll, it, what is less appealing, I think, is actually taking out these four units inside of it, city streets and stuff. Um, I don't know. What I do know, actually, this is a good point, is that the end is the end. The episode is going to end right now. Um, so I can make that decision next time. I always like putting off difficult decisions until the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. That's going to be next time. Ooh, this army. I hope they can't reach this town, by the way. No, there's no way the infantry could. If they if they could, it would only be with the general. So I think we'll, I think we're safe. Uh, anyway, that's going to be that for now. So I need to build something here as well. This I need to build. So I need to do. Yeah, I haven't done anything this turn yet except for this stuff here. Anyway, so then next time is going to be those decisions. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of this Broody Eye campaign. Enjoying it so far, actually. It's been a bit of a puzzle trying to figure all this stuff out, but once we've taken this town, and if this gets taken by the Gauls, this is going to meet up down here, and we're going to have like a really decent stack just ramp rampaging through Greek and Macedonian cities, I suppose. Or Macedonian? Anyway, until next time, please have a good day and goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. And also, goodbye. Farewell. See you, see you soon!